Okay, so we have the Dragon Ball Heroes Mechi Cabra inside of the game with his EZA. Now, I went ahead and made him Link 10. Just a heads up, I don't have full rainbow with him. He's only two dupes, but I figure let's go ahead and look at him. Now, surprisingly, for the first time in a while, it's it's nice to say that we're not going to be looking him up on the Heroes team. There's no part of his passive that is needed for Heroes at all. Now, he still will need, like, orbs, and I tried making a team that doesn't need orbs at all. The only person who would need orbs is Fizz Broly Trio, but we'll see. I, I think we'll be fine without him. Let's go ahead and hop right into it, though. Seven slot. Mm, okay, I'll, I'll just pause and we'll come back once he's, once he's here. Alright, this is going to be the perfect place to kind of show off him just a little bit. So... The thing is that he... Well, let's only go ahead and do this, actually. I think that kind of sucks with him. It's just the fact that we'll run into situations like this where we won't be able to really start, stop ourselves from not having any links, right? And... We can go ahead and do this, though. Get damage reduction, get HP back. Look at that. Look at that recovery, dude. 420,000 defense as well. Remember, he gets a lot of defense for super attack. He's greatly raising his attack infinitely. He's lowering enemies attack and defense. He's raising his defense with these super attack. He's getting additional super attacks guaranteed. He gets two as long as we get... Or, sorry, we, we get one additional super attack as long as we get an additional two rainbow keysters. Stuff like that. But then, yeah. We run into situations like this, though, where if we don't have a salt one unit... Like Janemba, for example. If we're not putting some somebody like Janemba in slot one for this unit to have, he's just going to be hurting the unit overall. We might. Uh, I could try showing him uh, paired with Janemba, though. Whoa, 12 million attacks that's starting off. Okay. 13 million. I know this with AGO Keysphere. Remember that he gets. Ooh, whoa. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I know that he, with Ajo Keysphere, he gets both the attack and defensive buffs, so that was quite easily his best case scenario there. Like, just straight up his best case scenario. But, like, I <laughs> feel okay. I was, uh, I was a, little, a little beefy, to say the least. Uh, should we let. I'm thinking of letting Boo die, and then we just... Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll let Boo die, we'll revive, and then we'll have it where we could try and, um, see Janemba in slot 1. Maybe we should have just left it for the future rotations. Either way, this rotation is going to be completely fine. Alright, you guys already know. Uh, this revive has been played a billion times, so we're gonna go ahead and skip it. Be right back. <laughs> hmm. It's see the rainbow keys here changing is just working in our favor so much right now. Three hundred seventy-five. So we do see a defensive drop off there. That's Honestly expected. I am not going to pop the active skill because it would just buff Janemba. So we don't want that. Okay, this is Tech Broly's second rotation. So yeah, he's fine. That is going to be an issue once we do come back though. Alright. Let's go ahead and see what the attack stacks look like now. K13 million again. Remember, additional super attack guaranteed. We have, was it two or three rainbow keys for us? We have 20, 30% damage reduction right now. 14 million attack stat. Pretty nice. We do miss the additional super attack. Able to take double digits. Pretty good, pretty good.
Yeah, 12 million. Like, he's making Slug look nice as well. The demonic power team actually gets a buff from this. This is crazy. Super attack launched in slot two. Thank you, Slug. Oh, if only we were able to get six or seven key spheres. Yeah. There's not much we can do about that. Let's go ahead and reset the turn. All right, let's go ahead and just play the active skill and put Boo in slot one. We might as well just see pop this. It doesn't really matter. It's just extra damage and it's not like it's not like Janemba keeps that buff anyways. It just sucks because we literally saw the play and we saw what we could have done to prevent this. And we could do nothing, right? Like, if we had seven orbs, Broly Trio would have made it where we didn't have to use the... We wouldn't have had to use the active skill for this turn and... and not waste, but... Not pop the active skill later on for fat, but we could have saved that. It does suck, but it's okay. 15 million attacks out. Was that my... Was that my... What it's like? It's pretty good. He is Link 10 now, by the way. I haven't done the Link 10 showcase on him, but this would technically count as that. Yeah, that was mine. Pretty good. Okay, now we could put... Ooh. Is that... All those orbs for me? Near 400k defense. I wonder really quickly, because I know that Halvard was talking about his... I'm just going to look it up really quickly. I wonder how much our starting defense is compared to what he was showing with the other, the other stuff. I just want to pull it up real quick. Okay, with 403 defense, 403k defense, uh, with one super attack we're at 1.2 million, two super attacks is 1.6, and three supers is 2 million. So we have 40% damage reduction and nearly 2 million defense. Not bad at all. No super attack though. 16 million attack stat. Pretty good. 17 million. Yeah, like his his offense is is it's just crazy. Okay. I built full dodge in him. Please. <laughs> Honestly, for for what for what he is. Which is just a hero's unit. It, it's honestly like, like, it's crazy because you're you're already working on a card who has nine thousand defense. Like compare compare that stat to something like in Fat Boot, for example, right? Seventeen thousand, sixteen thousand, nine thousand, right? Thirty fifteen thousand, twelve thousand, ten thousand. Like the defense is just so much more insane and all that. And this is a unit who has an easy A as well, and it's it's barely comparable to some Dokkan Fest. Who, mind you, has no dupes. <laughs> so, to just be a character who is not restricted to any team and just be doing this for free, honestly, it's it's crazy. It, it truly is crazy. I'm glad they learned, you know, you don't need to make it where these heroes or units have to specifically work on one team. And 
even with us dying there, like I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed by this guy. Because he's able to take the normal attacks, and sure, why while, while you're going to die to super attacks, his offense is easily, easily fine. And his defense is is, is not that bad either. He's tanking normals from some of the toughest bosses in the game, aka Janemba. That's not that's not something a lot of people can do right now. Let alone no live them <laughs> so i'm proud of this guy i i think for like i said for what he is which is just like a hero's easy a and a, a character that you can easily get from just summoning on heroes and, and doesn't have something like dokkan fest rates like it's just it's so incredibly easy to get this character compared to just regular dokkan fest i think this guy is is on on a tier of like I don't, I don't, I don't know where I would place him if he was like a Dokkan Fest. Maybe top ten. I think he's better than stuff like Rose, and Rose can be argued for top ten. <laughs> I think, I think I would say that. I think I, I would, I would argue that for sure. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you all for watching, and hope you guys have a great week. See you guys in the next one. Peace.